Meditech will allow us to create electronic documentation at GoLive. To do this, you have to select the patient record and click on Document. This shows that you have no open documents for this visit for the patient. It shows you all the available documents that you can use to create a new document. These are essentially empty templated containers. Once you select one of these, you can create a corresponding note in Meditech. At the time of the go-life, we will have a progress note, a cardiac consult, clinical consult, cardiac OR, discharge summary, and operative reports available as templates. This templates could be entirely blank, such as the operative report, which does not pull any data when you create it. They could also be pre-populated with data from the chart, such as the progress note, which by default will pull the vital signs, labs, and medications and will allow you to fill in information regarding the assessment, impression, and plan. Once the note is created, from the point of view of health records, it will be exactly the same as creating a handwritten or a dictated note of the same type. If you choose to create electronic progress notes, please write a note in the chart to the extent that your note is in Meditech. At the time of go live, our orders will still have to go on the paper chart and cannot go into the progress note created electronically. Meditech has several features to improve documentation. One such method is using embedded Nuance voice recognition software Another is creating typicals, which are essentially copies of the entire template of the note. Several other methods exist and include being able to create templates for your sentences and paragraphs using quick text. When you select quick text, you will see a list of any of your shortcuts available in this viewer. You could also create new shortcuts. I will show you how to do this now. First, you have to click Edit. Create new trigger. Give a name to your shortcut. For example, I'm going to call mine .af. I will call it AFib. And I will put some text in. Once I've created it, I can either insert it into the text or save it. Here you can see the shortcut inserted. Let me show you how this works. You would type your trigger, press space, and Meditech will automatically substitute the sentence or paragraph you've created under quick text instead of the trigger in the text anywhere in Meditech. You could add images to your notes by clicking the Insert Image button. This allows you to choose a file on the system which contains the image which you would like to upload and save into the note. Two further options to save time during documentation include inserting canned text. This is similar to quick text, but statements are shared across users and programs. You can insert formatted data. This is data otherwise available in Meditech. One feature many of us will find useful involves 
saving bits of information you would like to include in your notes as you go through the chart. When we see a value we'd like to include, we have to right click on it, click Add to Save Data. Here I saved a plasma potassium level. I'm going to save the temperature. At this point, when I'm ready to document, I could open the report container I'm planning to work with, click to enter text. Now save data is available for me to insert. Now, if I just insert it, it will take it out of the clipboard. If I want to keep these values in the, in the clipboard, I would select Keep to make sure they're still available. When I click Insert, you can see that the information in the chart was inserted right into the note. You can see the contents of the clipboard from the reference pane. Again, you do not have to insert all of the contents into every note. This view allows you to select which of the components you would like to include or not include by deselecting them into the note. We recommend that as you start using Meditech, you would create a number of quick text templates probably about 15 to 20 per physician, as well as typicals, which would include your entire note, such as your OR note for a typical procedure, or your typical clinical note for a specific condition, such as congestive heart failure. This should speed your work with Meditech tremendously. There are a couple of caveats to documentation. First, we're able to share documents. So when you click on All in the Documents tab, you can see all of the documents created by other physicians for this patient that have not yet been released. Shared documentation is a mixed blessing. It can allow us to collaborate on documents such as the discharge summary, where one provider may start a discharge summary and another provider may finish it. The final document will bear both signatures. There are certain problems associated with the ability to collaborate on documentation. First, when you click on a document that has been created by another provider, and by the way, you can see the other provider who had participated in creating this document, you're able to save it and add your name to the document. You're also able to delete the document. This functionality is as created by Meditech. This is not a bug. Please be careful to sign your documents when you feel that the document is completed to prevent others from inadvertently overwriting or deleting your document. Second, I want to spend a little bit more time going over save, draft, and sign functions. The intent by Meditech is for you to be able to save the document if you would like to continue to work on it. Save documents are going to be in the pending status. You would click on draft and you're only able to draft a document once if you would like to release a draft of the document, but the document is not yet completed, and you reserve the right to continue to work on the document at a later date, and you would only sign the document when you're ready to release it. Again, I strongly recommend signing the document when you're done with it to avoid others being able to overwrite or delete your document, as well as to prevent documents from appearing in your workload as requiring a signature. Some have asked, how can you come out of the document without saving it, drafting it, or signing it? And certainly without deleting it. Well, while this is not obvious, 
The way out of the document without going through any of these is to click back on the document button. If you have created a note in Meditech and signed it off, but feel that the note is incomplete and needs to be addended, simply go to the provider notes. You'll see all the notes and reports created by the physicians here. Find your note, click on the icon. This will open up the viewer, which will show you all the notes. You can go through the notes without having to go back to the chart. If you want to addend a note, Click on Addendum. It will show you the text in the original note. You would then be able to click, select a reason for why the addendum is being created, and enter the text of the note. Once you are finished, click Sign, enter your PIN, and the addendum had now been placed into the note. The next time the note is opened, you will be able to see the addendum as part of the note.